And now it's time to explore uh, the state of our app after the login action. Um, what's going on after we click the login gets the user data? How the things are stored besides the local storage? So let's just quickly go to our login page. And uh, you need to uh, install this Vue.js DevTools uh, extension for the Chrome. Just zoom in for a bit. And uh, uh, basically, when you open the Vue.js enabled site uh, or Max.js enabled site, it will be uh, appear in the DevTools on the right hand side. So, uh, what I'm interested in, like, uh, is if you go to the Vuex site and uh, push this uh, the offset. As you see that uh, the logged in is false and the access token is false. Uh, also, the refresh token is false and the user is null uh, because we did not uh, logged in yet. So if you go to uh, the, uh, the input and um, type some data. Oops. Um, and, oops. And do the actual login. Uh, just feel the difference. So uh, if you hit the login and it's logged in successfully, the all state should be updated. So now we have this user object. The user object uh, is stored in the view store. So all state state was updated by our uh, MaxDAOs. So do our uh, users are logged in? Uh, it says that yes, true. We'll just uh, zoom in a bit. Uh, I'm not sure that if Vuex, yeah, it's zooming also, so nice, nice. Uh, so now basically after the login action, uh, the, the mutation called and updated our now logged in state to true. And the state actually, the all state will store the access token, the beater token, the email, uh, because we set the universal, if you remember. Uh, the logged in is true, and uh, the refresh uh, token also will store and strategy is a local from the next uh, our settings uh, as you remember and uh, the actual user object so uh, it's 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 uh, sent a uh, get request to the slash user in the backend and backend returned back the email first name and the last name so the actual user state is the user data is uh, uh, stored as object in the state and uh, if you ask uh, like why this after logging the redirects, auto redirects to the uh, the home page. In fact, uh, for our uh, settings, um, <laughs> let's go ahead. Uh, we didn't define the redirects, but it has some built-in redirects which we can uh, can see from. Uh, let's just quickly search. Uh, and 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 uh, it has this. Um, redirect so redirect it should be here uh, i don't know maybe options right redirect so the general options shared with all strategies uh, this is defined in options.ts file as a source code and it says that uh, the redirect uh, user will be redirected to this path after login so if your uh, login is succeeded it's go it will go to the home page you can override this but also you can disable all overrides, like setting the redirect to the false. I don't want to touch it, but uh, still, if you uh, wonder why we have redirected to the the, uh, the home page, uh, that's why because it has these built-in um, redirects. So basically, uh, when you uh, use this as this as login with an update, uh, as a set universal uh, or uh, set set user token. Uh, it's also the operating the view state uh, for us. So that's extremely usable thing. And if you think about that, uh, just imagine that the, the, there is a some uh, picture uh, should be uh, depicted uh, after login. Uh, you can quickly check that if this logged in, then it means that we have a successful logged in and we can update uh, our uh, CSS, our um, components, and every, uh, every related things. So that's it uh, uh, for this uh, video. So that, that's the things that I want to show you uh, quickly, uh, how the things are operated by next hours and how the state are updated uh, here. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I think that uh, this thing uh, 
the actual things left uh, with our project. We need to add the logout functionality also uh, and some uh, local storage uh, removal operations uh, on our front end side. Uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.